Well, we're down here at King of the Hammers, and who, would we run, who do we run into but Kenny from k, &K Custom Fab. Uh, where are you from, Kenny? Uh, Ventura County, our shop's in Oxnard. And uh, you actually drove up to WFO and bought a solid axle kit yeah, from we us were at one point. up there working, and I think it was our second kit we picked up from the shop. So you've done multiple uh, GM yeah. solid axle yeah. kits. You do a lot of full-size invasion wheeling. A lot of full-size, And yeah. get out a lot, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you yeah. guys aren't running Toyotas, are you? No, we don't do Toyotas. <laughs> we used to be Jeep people, but now we're full-size Oh, you've people. converted over. Yeah, okay. yeah. So uh, we're driving by. We see this truck. It's got our six-inch solid axle yep. kit in it. Um, why don't you tell us about the truck? Tell us the story, uh, how you bought it, what you did, and how it got to where it is. So I've had it about nine years. It started uh, with like a six inch RCD IFS lift kit. Um, eventually went with a 79 Ford axle with ORD's solid axle swap kit. So, you know, I'm a little old school. So, I mean, back in the day, the 78, 79, F250, F350, Kingpin 60 was, yeah the holy grail it of front axles. It still is. I mean, it still is, right? Yeah. But, and reason being because of the 31 and yep. a half inch leaf spring width, yeah. right? Um, so you you found that axle, probably yeah. paid a bunch of money for it. No, it wasn't too bad back then, but yeah. then I ended up putting a lot of money into it. I so still have it. what'd you do with that axle in this truck then? So I had the leaf springs from uh, Off-Road Design, and we ended up killing leaf springs quite a bit just because the truck's so heavy in the front end. So that's why we went with the WFO. It, it, in a leaf spring kit, it'll flex killer. Uh, they drive pretty good. Yeah. And, I mean, everybody says, go to coilovers, it'll ride a lot nicer. That's not the number one game. Yeah. It's basically just getting something that holds together when you abuse it, yeah. right? Yeah, tired of killing leaf springs. So, so you have our six inch kit. Yep. Um, what size tires you got on this 40 bad inch boy? tires. 40 inch tires. 17 uh, inch methods. Mile stars on 17s, and yep. those are probably 17 by 9, four and a half backspace. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, pretty zero pretty offset. Standard, yeah. Yep. Um, rock sliders, like this is not just a tow rig, but it's down here because you, you towed, right? I towed, yeah, I towed the camper, 27 foot toy hauler. Um, but it's all around. So red. wait, towing on 40s, what gear ratio you got? 488s. So 488. Seems like a little much, but I could have gone 456, but it tows pretty the good. Torque of the Duramax is hard to tell. That V8, yeah. it, it wants to spin up, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and what year is it again? 2004 LB7. 2004 LB7. So 40 inch tires, 488s, tow rig, but not just a tow rig, right? Rock crawler, overland, trail rig, all so, of it. So you put this kit in, you've had it in Moab. Sand Hollow. Big Bear. Uh, Big Bear. You were telling yeah. me earlier that you towed your regular cab truck yep. with our solid axle yep. to Sand Hollow. Wheeled both. Wheeled the regular cab, went back to the camper, got in the four door, wheeled the four door. Yeah. Um, one of the reasons um, that you could do that is because of what you've done to the transfer case, right? Yeah. So what do you got for your transfer case? The uh, 273 transfer case, transfer case. I'm going to crawl underneath. Go I want to see yeah. that. Oh, yeah. So 273 case. Now this is something that I don't always see. So you went with the two piece rear drive shaft, right? Yeah, I made like a custom mount. It's basically where the it would be on a long bed. It's pretty close, but I made my own Because short rack. beds would never have a short bed. Piece. was just one piece aluminum and aluminum doesn't like rocks. So. Right. And when you're doing big breakover st stuff in San yeah. Paulo, Moab with that two piece brings it up yep. higher. You're Definitely not gonna take your higher. drive shaft. Yep. But that's a lot of money and a lot of work to do. Yeah, I mean it's worth it, you know, if you're yeah. gonna wheel the rig to have to have it. I see your 273 fixed yokes front and rear. Uh, looks like you're running, oh that's interesting, on your front drive shaft, you're running uh, just 1350 to 1350, huh? Yeah. No CV, so you don't have to no worry CV. about the pin and the ball breaking yep. and any of that. And the driveline angle is so smooth with the high pinion and the 273 clocking. Yep. If you're in four high, vibration bad or? It's fine. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. So you have the, I mean, this is the best of the best. You committed yeah. all the way oh, yeah. to get rid of that 263, do yep. the 273, one shot deal. Still push button. Just Still ditched, push button for I ditched drive. the ABS, I could have put it back in, but. Oh, you didn't hook the ABS I didn't hook up. it back up, yeah. Yep, so I see this front axle in here. Oh, you got an ARB in the front. Yep, what Detroit. You, in Detroit the in the rear, yep. okay. And then uh, six inch kit in the front. Yep. Front shocks. Uh, you're running King coilovers, right? Yeah. And in the rear, you got King smoothies. 
Yeah, King Smooth bodies in the back, two and a half. And uh, basically, the kit itself is all of our parts. You didn't modify anything. Nothing's modified. Yeah. Okay. Just and added the PSC Hydro Assist was the only thing. I see you got Hydro Assist on it. I do see one thing that you're running this thing pretty low on the 10 inch yeah. shot. Yeah, we're so pretty low. You got about what, four inches of up travel about on four, this? four, but we're off the bumps. So, you know, it'll take the little bumps fine. And that way it toes good, easy to get in yeah. and out, handles yep. good, like the front bumper. Yeah. So it's, it's not very often I run into these where the truck does everything, toes, wheels, you know, all the Over above. Overlanding, I throw the rooftop tent on it and go oh, out man. and camp. I got an inverter set I up think, in the I toolbox. think the beard is kind of a carbon credit. The beard <laughs> and the overalls offset the rooftop tent uh, Well, it's not on it right now, you know, yeah. it's not all the time. Yeah, it's like it's like a moped, you know. They're fun <laughs> to ride, but you don't want your buddies to see you yeah, riding. right. I mean, this truck is the reason why we designed what we did. And then people like you guys who have bought and installed multiple solid axle yeah. kits, I um, mean, you do own a fab shop. Yep. Um, and so like you are in a position, if somebody wants to put an axle in, you can have it in in three or four days and yep. swap one of these trucks. It's quick. Um, do it yourself, load up and drive across the country. Yeah. One more, uh, I wanted to look at these sliders here. So these are frame mounted, right? Frame mounted, it's fully gusseted, it's welded to it. The, uh, the Did you build them are, yourself? Yeah. Holy shit, I didn't even see this. Oh, it's gusset, rectangle yeah, it's two, two by four, three sixteenths underneath. And you know, nobody really, it's really hard to take the time to full cage a full size truck and still have room in there and be comfortable. Uh, so you basically did sure. the headache rack with kind of mild XO. Well, and you can see it's been used, Sand oh. Hollow, it was up against it. Tied down in the bed, so in the event of an actual cartwheel, yeah. you got the point to, to protect something, you pretty yeah. well. It's yep. something. And uh, the fact that you're using your truck, I love it. Just a little hack job on the uh, fender, yeah, right? Yeah. Get her done. Yep. Well, uh, I'll tell you what, it's fun to come 500 miles, roll through the desert, yep. and come across a oh, couple yeah. guys that built some sweet trucks and uh, are using them for what they should be used for. Yeah, it's good. Well, thanks for the time. I appreciate it.